And we're back. Fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast, C and Jewel, just Jewel. Can't remember a line, Jewel. With that, what else? New knives. Yep, from brands like Death Con, Cobra Tech, Almar. and Kershaw. Let's get down to business beginning with the Death Con Gravity Frame Lock. Only one option right now, but there are more on the way. So this folder has a three and a half inch bowler. M390 Warncliffe blade with black finish, jimping, and a single plain edge. Blade can be opened with either the thumb hold. Okay. I'm waiting. Thanks. Or jimped back flipper tab. Yeah. The handle is black 6A04V titanium with Damascus inlays and pivot cap accents. Backspacer has the built in lanyard hole and a glass breaker tip. Folder also sports a tip up where I carry pocket clip and comes with cleaning cloth, drawstring pouch, and box. Wow. Yep, so you can grab this Jungle Series Carry for just $189.95 from alandknife.com. All right, sounds good to me. Oh, you're going to hand her to me. That's very nice of you. Well, I'm, I'm a nice person. Like it's a little different than I thought. Blame people when for I breaking first computers that aren't broken. Well, well, if the shoe fits. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the. Fits. That's nice. Very nice. Um, it's not my cup of tea. Is it the the color or the the bold inlays? It is the bold inlays mm -hmm. and the black blade. I'm not a black blade person. Wait, you're not so a black that's anyway. okay. I don't mind this part here. It's kind of neat looking actually. Um, Nice knife for that price. So I mean, what about the back? If it just looked like yes, the back on the front? I'd be all in. Except for black blade. Black blade. I'd be half in then. So Mostly in. Mostly in. That's some people like it. More than some would say. Um, I really like the design. I think it's unique. It's got the high-end materials. The blade opens beautifully. Cuts like a dream because it's super sharp. I do think that they need a different version a plain gray or something with a satin bead blast a finish blade just so they can have this knife appeal to more people blackout version though really nice kind of limits your clientele so I uh, do agree it needs to be well you're in luck there are two other options one is gray and one is a laser printed type like handle yeah right okay yeah. awesome got I'm this to, done today gonna have to check out that one personally the All laser right. one next so. knife Cobra Tech knives the whoop teeth what? I oh, know, it's cool. Two different versions. Blackout and green. Jewel is sporting the green. Yep. We have the... So, the fixed blade is 6.875 inch. Overall, with a 2.75 inch, 14C, 28 in, drop point blade, jimping high flat grind. False gotcha. wedge, faux wedge, no wedge at all. Single plane edge, stone wash finish. No jimping, but thickness at the spine, 0 0.18 inches thick. Green G10 scales, which are removable, so you can either go with the lightweight skeleton or you can customize it with some paracord. Karambit styled ring at the end, designed for forward or reverse edge out grip. You can also use the end as a breaking pommel for striking or extra finger support. Don't junk it up with paracord. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going to. It's like a Gran Torino. I'm not going to put any spoilers on it. Yeah. There you go. This carry comes with a black Kydex sheath with a belt loop. Belt loop. Weighs just 3.7 ounce and was designed by Zoltan. Kamini. Is that Gero or Garo? Garo. I'll go with Garo. Garo. Yeah. Cobra Tech Whoop Teeth will have you howling at the moon. I do those uh, used car commercials on the weekends. Oh, do you? Yeah. It's only one nineteen ninety nine from mylife.com. Going crazy with prices. We are slashing them. You gotta laugh at everything. I've never seen prices this low. Come on down. We have a car for you and we'll put you in it. Good morning. For only forty nine dollars a month. No money down. <laughs> it's crazy. Interest free for three years. Wow. You'd be like eighty seven when you get that paid for. Or Four miles a year would be your lease. Yeah. 
I really like this knife. I can see it has more than one purpose. You can definitely use it as a self-defense tool, but I can also see it as like a regular EDC. I mean, it's small, but it's not too small. And you can keep it in your waistband and it's not going to cause any like issues when you're walking around or anything. Not too heavy. So I think it's a great deal. See, what do you think of this knife? I like it. Um, Put a ring I normally it. don't like when they're this thin in the handle, but mm -hmm. it's very thick on the back side. Mm -hmm. So perfect size for me. I'd use it. A little more blade would be awesome, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So. That's true. All there right, so we're hitting the latest Boker Quick and Auto. Now, there are five versions of this new model. Two have grippy scales and feature D2 steel, and the other three feature the smooth handle with the um, the 154CM that we're going to be having. So, oh, this is the full USA made model. Yeah, I so regular you. black smooth handle option. All right, so this automatic is eight inches overall, three and a half inch, 154 CM blade, stone wash finish, plain single edge. Handle on this option is black CNC milled aluminum, 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 with built-in lanyard hole and tip-up pocket clip. Designed by custom knife maker Lucas Burnley. Burnley. About, about 12 years ago. Yeah. In collaboration with Boker and Protec, the latest Boker Quaken Auto introduces a whole new level. A versatile pocket knives. Yep, so the blade is open with the push of a button and then disengage with the button and then you gotta do the manual closure. So it comes with a zippered pouch and box 100% made in the USA. This slim minimalistic auto can be yours for only $194.65 from mm. AlanticKnife.com. Alright, you can go ahead, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Alright, well I mean I like Quakens. I, I don't like the thin ones. But I really like this one. They have that Japanese knife look to them. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, we all know. Yeah, exactly. Other than that, very smooth looking knife for this price range. I mean, it's it's a nice, it's a nice item. Nice. It feels it good. It's smooth, but it's not slippery. I don't know how it'd be if it was wet, but I'm not sure who's breaking out a $200 knife in the middle of the rain to flip it open. And mm. If he did. You probably have a use for it at the time. So. Probably. You do it anyway. Yep. So I actually like the size of this auto more so than they have the quick and compact. Although I think this one's just like an inch longer. But I like the little extra length. I feel it works better. Funny thing is this one is more budget friendly than the compact option. Even though it has the same steel and the same handle material. Which is mm. weird. If you're getting an extra inch of knife why would Too it be sneaky, less? Sis. I don't know. I don't know either. But I just feel more comfortable with a little more blade, a little more handle on this design. Of course, there's going to be some places where you can't have it. But you know what my solution to that would be? Move. Yeah, move. Move. All right, you got any more thoughts on this? Hmm. I don't know, man. The Quaken's probably one of the best uh, popular models that Boker has. I mean, That's true. They milk the Quaken, like the QSP is done with the Penguin. Yeah, they've done like a thin and lots of autos and they got can the different color. Can you milk a Penguin? You can milk anything with heats, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, can you complain? Not really, I guess. So, don't go anywhere. We've got several new carries left to go through. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as ring that bell. That way you're always in the know with AK. And notified when new content drops. As well as automatically entered into giveaways. Speaking of which... The Spartan Blade Warrior Giveaway has finally concluded yeah. today. So, that means the winner will be announced. And that winner will receive a Spartan Blades Alalala fixed blade with sheath, a Spartan Blades Talos in black, mm. and a Spartan Blades Talos in green. Yep, so. The winner of this fabulous Spartan Blade collection is none other than Z. Nick Nick. See. Just a second. No. Nick McCash. That's my nickname. No, it's really not. I used to go with McLovin. Now I go with McCash. Okay, but. See Nick McCash. Uh huh. Nick McCash. You yeah. won. Thank you. Congratulations. Make sure to email sales at alanknife.com to claim your knives. We'll be starting another giveaway next week, as always. So. Yeah. You don't want to miss this next, next episode. Exactly. So we are back to the knives. So oh. the DEF CON JK Series Fulcrum Light. Excited about this one. So we have the black handle G10 one, 
C, take it away. All right, this folder is eight inches overall with a 3.2 inch 14C, 28 in drop point blade, satin finish. Does that have jimping on it? Yes. All right, great. Jimping. I know, I And single plane time. edge. The handle on this option is black G10 with orange backspacer, built in lanyard hole slash, yeah. you know. Yeah. Blade is open with a jimped back flipper tab. Hold on, hold on. Jimped back flipper tab. There it is. Check one. The front flipper. Which. Oh, wow. There you go. That didn't take too much work. I know. Or the leverage lock. All right, this one. There I used to go. like the show leverage. I still like the show. There's leverage. tip up reversible pocket clip for on the go carry as well. Very nice. Yep. Comes with a drawstring pouch, cleaning cloth, and box. Yay. Get you one starting at only $48.95 from atlangknife.com. Mm -hmm. Set myself up. Let you do it a little bit. What do you this think? Week. Um, I think this folder is an excellent knife, especially for the money. It's not a bad price for 14C28N. And you get this pivot lock, leverage lock, button lock, whatever you want to call it, along with a jimmed flip flipper tab and a top flipper, which actually works pretty well. And you get all the extras in the box, the cleaning cloth, the drawstring pouch. And there's different color. Backspacer is really nice, and there's different options. Micarta, carbon fiber. I mean, there's just so many good things about this knife. Mm -hmm. Sharp, easy to open and close, well within budget. I say <clears> it's a must. See? What do you think? Well, it's been very popular so far, which I have I kind of found a little surprising. It has that um, backspacer like you found on Fox or... Um, MKM, MKM, Steel Wheel. Yeah. So... I mean, it's nice. It gives it a distinct look. The button lock thing is, you know, I like it. Seems to be a uh, nice button lock. It's not as responsive as uh, Quibbit. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can't really sit here and you can, but you can see it's, it flips open just fine if you want it to. And maybe you get used to it. Ooh, yeah. See how that works? Just took me a second. It's great. I was trying to go a little too quick. But that's okay. So I mean, I'd pick one up for fifty bucks. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm, Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Don't want to get too high there, too quick. Exactly. So. It's under fifty. Government will get you after that. We love them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Flag, flag on the play. It's which just, part? Just been pulled. What do you mean, which part? It was sarcasm. Yeah, I know. Satirical they, they, sarcasm. They know too. We're featuring the Almar B21 folder and. I'm gonna put some shovels on sale this weekend. Fixed Maybe blade. That'll help. Fixed blade. Folder first. There we go. Give it to him. So it's... Wow. I don't think I can let you speak anymore. No offense. Didn't realize that you were the one that could stop me. <laughs> well, they're going to try. Damn, you set me up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going down too. Just read it. All right. Mm -hmm. So this blade can be... De is 8.9 when fully opened and sports a 3.75 inch D2 modified clip point blade with satin finish flat grind, a little bit of jimping back here, 0 0.13 inch thickness, single plane edge, and comes to about 59.60 on the HRC scale. All right, very nice. There you go. Blade can be deployed with the dual sided thumb studs and disengage with the 420 J2 stainless blue liners, yeah. which I really like. I don't know why. Handle scales are black G10 with lanyard hole, designed by Kirk Rexroth. This carry comes with a handmade leather sheath Thank goodness. and built-in loops find it for only 142.50 from a landknife.com okay put it down before you get I mentioned something earlier we just don't need to go there please don't go there now for the b21 fixed blade so this knife is 8.05 inches overall and showcases a 4.25 inch d2 modified clip point blade with flat grind satin finish is 0 0.16 inch think this little bit of jumping back here single plane edge and comes to about 59.60 on the hrc scale handle scales are black g10 there's also the 420j2 stainless steel underneath weighs 6.1 ounces and comes with a black sheath with friction fit lock hold on adjustable belt clip and built-in ceramic sharpener oh wow that's sporty it is sporty, sporty. Mm -hmm. go ahead all right also designed by the great Kirk Rexroth, the fixed Almar BG21 is only 101.25 from AtlanticKnife.com. Oh wow, there's a little bit of jimping in this choil. I mm. like that. I do like the jimping in the choil. And I'm, this is not a pry bar, but why do they always make you think it's a pry bar? 
I don't like well, that. Well, I imagine you could probably use it that way without damaging the knife, mm. depending what you were prying. But uh, I, I've, never, I've never been a fan of those anyway. I, I don't need a, a glass break or you know any of that stuff most of the time. So, But I do like how you can... Just use these babies. You know. That's <clears throat> well, I have Damage to say, the, table. the jimping on the bottom was the I mean, look, coup de gras. Look at all these Anna. little dents Anna. you've done. That is... Uh, what you call it, not history, that is... Uh, it's used. Yeah, experience, you know. It just it's, it's patina makes the table the look better. Don't does you think? it? I think it does. Okay. Nice fixed blade. Mm -hmm. I love the handle. Very Boker-esque. It reminds me of some of their higher-end stuff they did, or used to do, too. Um, the sheath, very nice sheath. I love the lock on the back. It's my Friction favorite. Friction lock. No. And I have to try this out. I don't know. The ceramic. Yeah, I mean, I use a ceramic rod, but I'm kind of a. I probably do longer strokes. I, I could probably work it on there for a fixed blade, so. I'm not going to do it now because we don't want to sharpen the knife. Because so. it's already sharpened. Yeah, the open Brand box new. section won't like that part. Okay. Yeah, I could do it then. Um, so, we haven't seen anything new from Almar in a while. Mm. And I can't say I'm disappointed by what they've trotted out here. I mean, both of these are really sturdy knives, both really good in size. I really don't see any issues with them other than this one being D2 at 150. That's a little high nowadays, but it's a well done folder. It's Made pretty big, true. And it's got the, the leather sheath, the handmade mm -hmm. sheath, super nice. Don't. Pouch. I think both will serve you well on a day-to-day -day task. So if you like them, get them, you know? I think so too. This, oh, All right, boxes, you know what time it is? Boxes are huge. We've been waiting on these for a long, long time. time. Yeah. I can't even tell you how long. This is a really nice. I, I feel like, like the this. interest on our money could have bought a couple of houses waiting for these things. All right, so it's time for the final knife. The Kershaw Live Wire. Again! Yep. But this time it's in blue. I mean, we're definitely not biased. We've been on this in a while, too. Showing, you know, another Kershaw Live Wire in a different color. But it's our show. We pick what we want. Mm -hmm. So this option is 8.1 inches when opened and sports a 3.3 inch CPM Magna Cut Tonto style blade with the, you know, black oxide, black wash coated finish that Kershaw does. Single plane edge and 0 0.125 inch thickness. The handle is blue aluminum and sports a black right or left hand tip down pocket clip. Blade is deployed with gray thumb slide. Disengage with the same. Made in the grand old USA. I was listening for Lee Greenwood. Right oh, were you? This Kershaw live wire is true blue steel. As it's only $218.95. You won't find it that price. From a land Anywhere else. Anywhere. That's great. All right, so if I haven't said it enough, I love the Kershaw live wire. Look at that. Oh, that's right. You can open this one. I forgot. Wow. Exactly. I love this one. You can, Kershaw, bring on more colors like QSP Penguin it to death, Kershaw. I don't care. I'll take all the Magna Cut options you've got. Like a 2000 cheerleader movie. Bring it on. Okay? All right. Said my piece. Now you can just. Go. Oh, there's not a lot to say. It's, a diff it's another live wire. And it works the exact same as the others, but it's in a fancy blue. With a nice Tonto blade with a grayish black, black wash style mm -hmm. blade. Not a full black. Exactly. But so a grayish. I like it. He'll fit it. Yeah, and I actually have a couple of these on my him. desk saved for people that uh, have called and asked for called them. ins, yeah. Yep. You can do that. That was our final life, so make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way you've got AK right at your fingertips. And notified whenever we drop new stuff as well as automatically entered into giveaways we'll be getting another one next week so don't miss out and just catch that video okay so favorite knife on the table this week c oh favorite knife on the favorite table this knife week on the table c yep i am going to go i'm not gonna go live wire because I'm going to go with the Elmar Fixed Blade. But because it's not brand new. Aww. We've had it numerous times. I love it. It's nice. I mean, I would drop this thing and pick that up in a heartbeat. But I like this Fixed Blade. It's, it's very nice. All right. So since you basically eliminated the one I was going to pick because it's not new. Oh, you can take it. No. No, no. nobody cares. It's fine. It's fine. I'll go with the 
Defcon Gravity Frame Lock. I really like the detailing on this, and I think it's well worth the money, the M390. It opens really well, and it has all that extra stuff that I like, so that's the one I go with. Nobody went quaking. No, nobody I liked went it quaking. Too. I did, but... I like the pop in blue. I just I'm that's kind of too out, plain out the for front me. Automatic guy anyway. Yeah, yeah. I don't really carry automatics, so. I I think I used to have a small auto. I can't remember what it was. Mm. All right. Something I had it. I don't have it anymore. Oh wow! And yep. So Go just ahead. Joel is satisfied. We have to do the carrying thing. Go ahead. Well, someone wanted us to do that, so. Are you ready? I don't mind. Do you know what I have? It's a Roxy! Oh, the one... Confiscated. Used. Yes, it is. That's great. It's my favorite knife. Is it? Yeah, I Your never use it. Your favorite knife? Yeah. Oh, I love this knife. You never use it. Why are you carrying it then? Well, because I had to carry something different than what I normally do, or you'd be like, it's an Ontario I rat. I wasn't going I almost got my spider coat back I'm out of the carrying thing. carrying the, the flint oh, again. Oh, are you? Yeah. But it's the Roxy. I love this Roxy. I match with myself, so... That's yeah. what I do. This is pre Roxy 3. Pre Roxy yeah. 3. Is this a, what is this, Roxy? Is this a Roxy 3 or Roxy 4? I can't remember. Or is it just a Roxy? I don't know. It's several years it's old. Sure, knife. I can't remember. I don't remember everything about them. Well, you should at least know it's your knife. I don't know what Roxy is. I have a little is. sheet that I keep on all my knives. Oh, wow. Yeah. Rain Man over here. How many toothpicks, dude? 246. All right. All right, folks, that's it. Like always, I'm C, and this was Joel. Just Joel. And we are signing off. You put 12 some, miles some on the, that, you owe us $9,000. I'm sure they already know. Yeah, I'm sure they I'm sure they just love I'm sure they listen to my phone calls and and steal my transactions. You believe and, in the moon? Yeah, they're probably like, how many times have you been to Brass Pro Shop this month? Fourteen for guns. Yeah, we only can get one. Well, if you have one he of these little cards to, like I have, you can get as many as you want to. They don't they don't stop you. They're like, okay. hey, you want to They call before, me up and say, Hey, guess what? Before you dig us a deeper hole to put us in. We're featuring the Almar B21 folder and I'm gonna put some shovels on sale this weekend. Fixed Maybe blade. Help. Fixed blade. Folder first. There we go. Give it to him. So it's wow. I don't think I can let you speak anymore. No offense. Didn't realize that you were the one that could stop me. <laughs> well, they're gonna try. Damn, you set me up. <laughs> and I watched when I brought happen. it home, my wife said, "Does they have a radio?" And I said, "Well," she said, "Well, she said CD player." CD player. And I said, "Well, it has radio." And I wasn't buying a classic car; it was new. Uh -huh. And she's like, "It just has a radio." I'm like, yeah. The CD player was extra. Just turn it on. Move this little dial over here. You act like that she's so young, though. She knows what a radio is. Well, I'm, I'm thinking for at least, like, the very first car I had was 10 years old, and it had a cassette player. Okay. Regular no, regular cassette or, years. like... Well, how many other cassettes are there? The big ones. Oh, you mean 8-track? 8-track. I've, I've had... <laughs> I know. I've heard of those. <laughs> Have you heard of them? Yes. And you've owned them and used them before, so. I can't quite recall you know, ever your owning. Mixtapes and 8-track tapes. An 8-track tape player with a CB in it. Mm. Wow. <laughs> you got a little detailed there for somebody All who's right. never. Okay, we're, we're off topic. Camera girl's going to get angry. She is. All right. She wants to get grilled cheese. I don't know. Somebody FDR. <laughs>